So he introduced me as a manal. So there's the uh, there was the famous manal, Rabbi Yossi Goldstein, known as Uncle Yossi, which was a manal for many years in Borough Park and Beis Yaakov, was a machanich for many of us here. And uh, he was once asked, how did you become a manal? So he said, well, I tried learning and I wasn't a good student, so I tried becoming a teacher. And then I saw I'm not the best at being a teacher, so I tried becoming a manal. That's how I'm here. So we're talking on the subject of every one of us and every one of our Talmidim, every one of our children, every one of our Mekuravim, seeing them as the one that's going to do it, seeing them as Mashpin, seeing them as as the ones that are going to bring Mashiach. And there's this theme that we see throughout all the years from the first Sikha. And in all the Rebbe's letters, we see the Rebbe pushing every one of us to become a Mashpiach, every one of us to be a Shliach, every one of us to be the one to bring Mashiach. And if we think about it, you know, I've, I've heard from, from those that I was able to listen to over the last few hours of the Pabrengen, there are those that look at the Sicha of Chav Ches Nisan as a Chiddush, it's a breakthrough, and this is a new beginning. And there are those that look at it more as really the Rebbe is telling us the same thing that he's telling us for years and years. He's just now banging on the table and making sure that we actually got it, that we actually start moving in that direction. And I think the... The toichen of the sikha is exactly what the Rebbe is telling us throughout all the years. And especially in the area of chinuch. And I, I believe Rabbi Sheis Taub started the Fabrengen on this topic. The Rebbe's mifza chinuch was not just that we should get to every Yiddish child and give them a Yiddish chinuch. The Rebbe's mifza chinuch is to turn every one of those children into a mechanic. That's what the Rebbe himself said. And I want to share a few letters from the Rebbe throughout the years, even before Mitzvah Chinuch, where this is the Rebbe's Shita in Chinuch. Take every child and turn him into a Mechanach. He should be influencing. So sometimes we see the letters of using the most talented students to be teachers for younger, uh, for younger classes. And sometimes we see completely different scenarios. But here we're talking about using the Talmudim in the higher classes to teach or to be madrid the younger Talmudim. And the Rebbe talks about the mile of this picking up Hiroma Saruach and it's Moisif in their learning, it's Moisif in them being careful and being didactic in Anhaga Toiva. And the Rebbe says, don't let it get to their heads. They're not becoming a teacher or a principal. They should rotate, shouldn't always be the same people. And this balance of keeping them Talmidim, yet in the same time, turning them into Mashpim. So here we're talking about the older Talmidim. And we see the Rebbe says this itself, that we give them that trust, we give the, the Imun in these Talmidim. This itself is Moisif tremendous in them. This is, this is another letter. And that brings up a very important liquid in the second ket over here. It says you might be concerned that they're not so uh, they're not so experienced. And we all know those of us that are in any area of Ashba that the younger we are and the more new we are, the more mistakes we make. But the Rebbe says that their hislavus and their excitement of this achrayis overweighs the chesrein is that they're missing. They're not the most professional machanchim. You can have a professional mechanic and he's worn out, right? he's burnt out, and you can have a young child that's giving his first shear in his life, he's giving his first class, and he's mole chayis, and that chayis compensates for that which is missing, which is in Tisan Tinekudah. 
So there says Taka, you have to think, not everyone is Roy for everything. You need to think about this well. However, the Rebbe says, I'm asking you to please think about this in a serious way and find the right thing for the Tchunas HaNefesh of that Talmud. However, the Rebbe says, please be mishpadl to do this because the Te'elis is tremendous for the Talmudim more than for the Yeshiva, what the Yeshiva is going to gain from this. Here's the famous Sikha where the Rebbe was asking that every class, every school, or the whole kita should have a gemach. So we're not just talking about teaching, we're talking about influencing in a way of gemilus chasadim. There should be a gemach from every moisid and even better, every class that the Talmudim should give from their money to this Karen and more, more than giving money, put them in charge. They should have responsibilities of being the manal of the Karen or the gizbar of the, of the Karen and it should, it should constantly change. There should be votes. And every month, there should be another manal of the Karen or the treasure of the Karen. And this regesh of achrayis, they're not just giving money towards something. They're in a position of leadership. This itself is going to train them to get into this and be involved with their whole nefesh. Now, here we have another scenario. We have troublemakers. So there's a, uh, a teacher that's writing that in her class, the davening is not the way it's supposed to be. How do we get the kids more involved? The Abba says, turn them into monitors, put one in charge of giving out the sadurim, one in charge of accepting this, taking back the sadurim, let one be marking. And also the Abba says always to, uh, to rotate, that it shouldn't be a one is always in charge. Everyone should have a chance to be in a position of giving, in a position of leadership. The most extreme, We'll just move on. The most extreme is, is this letter where the Hanhal is complaining that there are bad students to be in, in the in the Moise that are scaring away other Talmudim. And our parents will want to take their children out because there are those rotten apples in the school. What are we going to do with them? It never says they have to really look into it. They have to sit down and think everyone's different. And the Rebbe says you have to be moisif hashkach on them. And if you're looking at them more and you're being mashkiach on them more, they'll, they'll become better. However, the Rebbe gives an eitzah. And again, we're not talking about the best students, right? And those that can really be a good machai. We're talking about those that there's a svara that we should kick them out of the school because they're having a negative effect on others. The Rebbe says, give them a chrais. Shematilim ala misupakis. Tafki da chrai. We're talking about these that were misupak if we should keep them in the mice. Give them a chrais, and you're going to see that it's going to be mo'er, the sephis be your shemayim, and hagatayim of a chulu. But then they're going to feel that they need to be a good machai. The Rebbe finishes off. It's an important thing to know for every Moisid. Don't feel bad. You have these type of, uh, types of Talmidim. Every Moisid has some of these. But what's the Rebbe's Eitzah? Turn them into leaders. Now, we can look at this, at this as a Bidi When you have troublemakers, you have Talmidim that are not motivated. This is a tool. It's a tool. It's one of the tools that work. But we see that by the Rebbe, this is not a Bidi we see that by the Rebbe, this is a lechatchila. And this is important for us to understand that the Rebbe sich a chavchas nisim. And the Rebbe said, Icha getan also sich ken, and yet is giver dos ibn tsaich. This is not a bidi Rebbe. Sometimes we feel, or maybe from the tune of the sich, it feels like there's a crisis, a chas to show something went wrong. And now I have to give it over to you because it's a matzah of a bidi Rebbe. But it's not. It's a matter of l'chatchila, and this is what the Rebbe told us from this first sicha. Chassidus Chabad is about us doing it, but it's more than that. The toichen of the Rebbe Tachtoim, the whole theme of the Rebbe, the whole concept of Mashiach, months that every one of us should be doing our part. We shouldn't just be makablim. It's not that there's one mashpia, there's one Moshe Rabbeinu, that he's the one that's going to schlep us out of Golos, like it was by Yitzhak Mitzrayim. 
in order for the Giyula Asida to be Dir B'Tachtoinu, in order for it to be a Gula Nitzchis, it has to come through every one of us. There's a, a, another Sikha, every, every Talmud, even small to young Talmud, should be Magidi Shurim. But this is what I want to, this is what I want to show. In the Maimer of Basi Lagani, that there was Magia and Tavshin Nun Aleph from Tavshin Lamed Aleph. And it's really throughout the Maimer of this Nekudah. Rebbe says clear, there's the part that Moshe Rabbeinu does. And then there's the part that Yidin do. Moshe Rabbeinu's mam shech t'shchim elamata, Yidin make a dir b'tachtenu. These are two shlod. Dir ashvi, there's the part that Moshe Rabbeinu does. And then he finishes his part. He brings the ikr shchim elamata. But bringing the ikr shchim elamata is only a hachshara. It's empowering anshi ador, to do their part. And that is what? To make a dir b'tachtoinu. And that for a dir b'tachtoinu, Moshe cannot do it by himself. Yidin cannot do it without Moshe. Moshe empowers us. Yich gives us the retire. The Rebbe is giving us the koyach to do it. But this that we need to do it is not because this is a preparation for a Chav Zayin other. And they were saying, I need to go. So b'di evet, you're going to have to be my hands and feet. It's not a b'di evet. This is a lachat And this is what the Rebbe is telling us from the beginning. And this is so extreme in such a ma'apecha, in the Rebbe shit in everything, in trusting every chassid. And I, I think that, I think we could, we could, um, we can all agree. We can all agree from knowing ourselves, knowing our Talmidim, knowing chaverim, how many of us know that going on shlichus brought out in us tremendous koichus that we never knew about before? How many of us saw in our children or our Talmidim or in Chaverim that when they were makablim, as long as they were makablim, they were very limited? And that's, that's a nice word. Some of my Talmidim that I, that I know through and through as Talmidim couldn't deal with basic struggles. But as Shluchim, say as Talmidi as Shluchim, suddenly there's new Kaychis that came out. When they went on Shluchis, there's suddenly new Kaychis that come out. This is the Rebbe's theme from day one. Turning every one of us into a Mashriya. And again, it's not a technique. This is the Kavona. This is the ultimate Kavona. He says, why does it say ma zois? So this is ma Why zois? Why lashinik eva? So he says, Lashin Akeva is asking Ma Zoyis, there was such a big deal, uh, there was such Nissan, there was such a Shturim. Why didn't this last? Why was it Pchinus Nekeva? Why wasn't the Gulas Mitzrayim a Gulas Mitzchis? So when Marty Love, you have to tell your child, because we were taken out of Mitzrayim, we were pulled out of Mitzrayim. The Abishta did it, Moshe Rabbi did it. But we didn't do it. The Gaula Sida that has to be Zeh, it has to be a Shir Chadash, it has to be Pchina Zacher, everyone has to be a Mashpia. Laas and Lavi, there's not going to be Makablum. Going to be Pchina Zacher, everyone has to turn into a Zacher, everyone has to be a Mashpia. As long as we're makablum, we're in goals. A makabal, when it's not mine, the yule is not mine. What I'm doing is not mine, I'm following. I am still in goals. And therefore, the gaula doesn't stick. When it turns into my na'inyan, I'm the mashpia, then it sticks, then it's a real shinu. That's gaula. And that's a gaula nitzchus. We see this so many times that in our personal life, we could be struggling with something. We could have a shiloh that's bothering us. We could have something that's nudging us. And we can't find an answer. We can't find the words that inspire ourselves or that answer our own questions. 
But when we're on the Tzoyim, when we're on Shlichus, when we're in a position of giving, and someone asks us that question, it's not just that we have words, Mekenem Ayyurem. Mitamol, the in your life. Mitamol, the truth, is Begilu. Why? Because when we're in a state of Mekabel, it's not us. And when we're in a state of Mashpia, it's Nisachid with us, it becomes us. If you want to look a little more into the words of the Rebbe in the Sicha, in Yiddish, it's not so clear what it means. means. What does it mean, what I could? But if we look at the Mugadika Sicha, Asu kol asher b'yecholtachem, Kent is not translated b'koychachem. It's translated b'yecholtachem. It's not do everything that's in your power do everything that's in your potential, which is a whole different vart. Power, koiches means what I know, the part of myself that I know. Yechoyles is the part of myself that I don't know. Yechoyles of an is believe bull. In yechoyles, we're mushlam, and we have yechoyles in every area. The Rebbe is telling us deep digger into yourself Deep, deeper into, your, into yourself. There's the part of you that you know, there's what you think you could do, and there's a lot deeper, there's yechelis. There's a reservoir that's bleak full of what you could do. And to bring Mashiach, you need to tap into yechelis. It's a whole different world. And again, I think that this is connected with the same Nakuda. When we're makablim, we're limited. We're with our koiches. So one is smarter, one is not as mukhshir. You see them as Talmudim, you see someone that's, he's on the bottom of the class, he's not doing well as a Talmud. Mitamo, you give him a achrayis, you turn him into a teacher, you turn him into a mashpia, you turn him into a shliach, you send him on the tzoyim, and his potential comes out. In a whole different area. And again, we see that, look at our own classes, lavdafka, the aleph, shab aleph, are the ones that are today the biggest, those that went out on shlichus, those that are in a leadership position, their yechelis came out, their bleedful came out. The Rebbe wants our bleedful to come out. He wants us to bring out our yechelis. There's a lot to talk on this nekuda, on, on the, the hair behind the nekuda. I think from the poil mamish that we could take out from this, from this nekuda is this is Sai as parents to our children, Sai as Machanchim to our Talmidim, as Shluchim and our communities, and us with ourselves. The only way we're going to bring the Shiach is if everyone is involved. There's no extra yid, there's no extra minute, there's no extra potential that was given to us. Everyone is needed. That's the definition of the Gulam Mikas Vashlem. It comes al Yidei Amata, and it comes from every one of us. We have to start finding how every one of our children can be leaders. Every one of our Talmudim can be contributing. We have to stop trying to control and making sure that we're constantly talking and they're constantly listening. We have to delegate, not just because this is a good technique. It is the most powerful technique. But it's a lot more than that. Perhaps the reason why Bidi Evan sometimes the only thing that works is giving responsibilities is because this is what our dar needs most. The Rebbe says this, that the Yevon, we can't fast in our dar, we have to give staka instead of fasting for tshuva, is not by mistake. It's because when we're coming closer to the Giyula, we need more tzaka, we need less fasting and more tzaka. So they must have made it harder to fast and easier to give tzaka. This, that in our door, it's harder to get our children to follow. And it's easier to get them to lead. We don't have to fight this. We have to embrace this. This is because our door is not meant to continue following. Our door is meant to lead. The Rebbe gave it over to every one of us. Because that's what our dar needs most. We have to start being like the Rebbe. We have to stop looking to be leaders 
over everyone. Everyone should follow us. We have to be leaders like the Rebbe and turn everyone into leaders. Every one of our children, every one of our Talmudim, every one of the people in our communities. Shliach is shliach. That is the Kavana. It's not going to work anymore the old way because the Rebbe is not letting that work anymore. The Rebbe wants us to turn everyone into leaders. I'll finish off. There's if Shlemechaim Kesselman once said a story that he was by a chuppah and the chassan of and um, he didn't know what to say and he's putting on the ring and so he had to say after him he told him he's like hooray hooray at at the kodeshes the kodeshes no so the chassan said no So he says, I couldn't tell him leave. Because then maybe she would be married to me. So he says, what he learned from that is, the lead kemen is zogin for me. The lead dachman zogin alein. No one could say the lead for you. You have to say the lead by yourself. The Rebbe could say for us, hare, at mekodeshis. Every one of us have to say the lead. There's the part that the am has to do. No one could do that for us. And perhaps at a certain point, after the Rebbe talking to us and talking and talking, we evolved. At a certain point, all we heard the Rebbe saying is, no. And that was the most painful thing for us to watch. If the Rebbe wants something to happen, and the Rebbe is not telling us what it is. And is that a bit the Rebbe? Or is that exactly what the Rebbe is saying? No. I can't tell you the next thing because you're supposed to figure it out. Because that's how we bring Mashiach. So this is something we need to do with our children. And it's something we need to do with ourselves. We have to realize that they have to put us in a position of leadership and no one's going to do our part just like we can do the Rebbe's part. The Rebbe can't do our part. Our children can't do our part. Everyone, if they're here, if they just put us in the world, if we have another minute, because there's something that we could do and no one else could do, and without our part, can Mashiach nicht kommen? So, l'chaim, l'chaim, we should use the, uh, the day of Chavchas and the Hemshech of the day, going into Rishchidosh, to use our Yechelis, Dig deeper into ourselves, bring out our Yechelis, every one of us, from bringing the Mashiach of Poyal Mamish, every Kleidish.